the guy, he literally fishes every single day. You have to know a lot about the craft that he does to be able to respect, you know, how much he knows. He's been doing it, he did it the day before, the day before that. Fishing is Dwayne's life. It's gotta be routine for him, but it, it just, it never is. Just right there, guys. Oh, that's great, Danny. Yeah! <laughs> There's very few people that can do what Dwayne does. The excitement is just so next level. And yeah, you got fish this day or that day. You do that for a whole year, man, it will break your own man. That, that impresses me that someone can have that drive and that passion for something like that and just go after it, you know, pretty much every single day. I grew up here on the waterfront in San Diego doing a lot of fishing and surfing. It's a really tight-knit community. We all know each other, we all work together. It's our lifestyle, it's what we do. You know, it's nice to be able to take my friends out fishing. Um, it's a little less stress. Pretty much every time we fish with them or get to spend time on the water, it's something magical happens. DJ Hobgood's a wild man. <laughs> He's an icon in the surfing industry and surfing world. The mutual respect as far as like, you know, me being in the water as well, but also understand there's so much outside of our control. That's what makes it so challenging, makes it so fun. Jared Lane's an, an old friend of mine, a true waterman, a local boy, and the lead guy behind Salty Crew. He's the man behind the scenes, you know, busting his tail to make it all happen. It's overall a good time just because we know each other so much. We know, you know what to expect and, and what to do when the, when the occasion arises. He has a huge respect for you know, what he's catching and, and so obviously like taking care of the fish and getting it to the table. It's pretty rad to like one, be a part of it, go out there, slay, have a good time and then and then come back with just like the most primo fish you can eat. We got the yellowtail and dorado. Yellowtail. Yeah, we had a nice group of friends and family uh, join us for the meal, let them enjoy uh, the fruits of the labor. Oh, man, it's just this love and this relationship that you have for it so much that you just don't, you don't want anything to happen to it, you know? And you want it for others to enjoy and you want to teach them as well.